Hello there! Today I'm going to show you how we will do our math fluency in first grade. To begin, you will go ahead and log into your class link where you see your apps, and we are going to click on the app that looks like an apple. It says Math Fluency Links. You may need to go ahead and allow Adobe Flash Player to do its thing to get you to this page. I had to allow it to run. Okay, once you're here, we're going to work on addition first. Once your child is fluent through nine in addition, we will begin subtraction. It's very important that your teacher lets you know what fact your child is working on so that you know what to type in when we get here. Once we are here, we're going to click addition. And we are going to type in the number that the teacher gives you. For example, your teacher might say that your child is working on sixes. So knowing that my child is working on sixes, I have them click plus six and then type in their name. We're going to start. You have 60 seconds to answer as many of these facts as you can. I'm going to get some wrong on purpose so I can show you what to do in the event that you do not meet mastery. So mastery for our purposes with fluency is that they will show an, a minimum of 80%. I promise I'm getting these wrong on purpose. Okay, so I did get the 80%. So what I would do now if I was the parent is I would take my cell phone and just take a picture of the screen and text it to my student's teacher. That way they know, okay, that child is now done with sixes. I'm going to put that on my tracking sheet for their record, and they are going to start working on sevens, bringing them closer to mastering their math fluency in addition. Now, say they got a 75 or a 10 or a 12 or something low, lower than 80. We're going to keep practicing. We have 10 minutes on fluency. So I'm going to go ahead and click main to bring me back to this menu. And I'm going to try again by clicking the number. My name's already there. And then going ahead with start. Something else that your children enjoy in this particular program is something... Um, that has to do with games. So when I want to go ahead and let my child do something for fun because they did their hard work and we want to celebrate, I can scroll down on that same link, Math Fluency, that looked like an apple, and I will click on what says Skill Builders. In Skill Builders, I will scroll down and I will see that there are educational games here for free for them to play. We click on our grade, and then we see all subjects. So there's not just math games here. There's games for language arts, spelling, typing, or even geography. So that's just something to celebrate when they're finished to continue practicing their skills in a fun way. Thank you for watching the Math Fluency video.